Hi, I'm Amber. Follow along with me as I sew my way to a completely vintage-inspired wardrobe. Welcome back. Today we're going to go away from outfits slightly so that I can give you the hat making tutorial that I promised in last week's video. So first I should tell you that I made my own hats based off of tutorials that I watched from other girls. So this is just my spin on what I learned from them. Now, I don't have a hat block, but I do have a cake pan. Cake pans are awesome for this specific reason, in my opinion, because it looks just like a pillbox hat. It sits right on the back of your head, so it makes for a great pattern or base for a pattern. So for the video, I have already cut out all of my pieces. So you will notice that I will have circle pieces and I will have strips from the side. So this is what I used to cut out those pattern pieces. Let's get started. Here are the tools that I used. Rotary cutter, wire cutters, and also pliers. This is a Leatherman, but if you don't have one of those, then you can buy both of those at a hardware store. Also 18 gauge wire, which can also be bought at a hardware store. Scissors and a black permanent marker. Fabric that you will need will be your fashion fabric for the outside of the hat, buckram for the inside of the hat, and a batting. This is the base of your hat. You're going to have the top, the side, and two lengths of wire that you will secure to both sides of your buckram. With your pliers, you're going to bend the ends of your wire in so that you create a hook. You're gonna do this on both ends. And then with your sewing machine, you are going to stitch the wire onto your buckram. Now you can do this by hand or by machine, but obviously machine is going to go a lot quicker. And then you are going to bend this so that the two ends come together and take a couple of pins and secure it So you have basically a circle. Okay, and then you're going to take your top circle and you are going to attach it to the top. All right, here's the basic idea. So just keep in mind that this is something that you are going to work with as you go around. So you're going to bend the wire so that it fits the shape better but this is what you wanna start with. And then I personally am going to hand sew this and that is what I recommend. So here's the general idea of what you're gonna want as your base. All hand sewn together just because it's much easier than trying to put this under the machine. And you're gonna understand why in just a second um, it's not really important to clip these threads and things like that. And then of course you can start to see the reason why it's important to have that under over because it basically creates a cap. All right, next step, you're gonna to wanna to take your batting and you are going to pin it all the way around. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is similar to how you pinned the top of the buckram onto the sides. You're gonna to wanna to start on one side and go across from that. And you're basically stretching this down over the hat. And then you're going to take your strip and you are going to, oh, I'll start on the seam, makes it easier. You are going to take your strip and you are going to attach this and you're gonna go all the way around the hat 
and you're going to pin as you go, stretching along the way. Make sure that you leave a little bit on the bottom so that you are going to be able to turn this under when we get to that part. All right, <clears throat> now this has been tacked down all the way around with pins. So here's your seam, everything is ready to be hand sewn once again. And we're just going to do the same kind of stitch as before. It's just gonna be a nice wide stitch just to hold everything in place. All right, here's the idea so far. So we have stitched down all of the batting, okay? And the outside is all set. Here's a look at the inside so far. Of course, you're not gonna be able to see any of this whenever it's done. Now, at this point, I would tell you that if you like a more domed look, basically a higher crown right here, this is where I would tell you to add more batting so that you're going to have a more padded look on the top so that when you uh, add your fabric, it's actually going to have more of, well, I guess more of a domed look. but. I'm not worried about that. I don't personally care whether or not it looks domed. Um, I kind of like the flat look of it. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. At this point, we're going to go ahead and add the outside fabric. So we are going to put our top on first. And again, we are going to be securing this around the edge and we're going to pull just like before so that it's tight. So you're basically gonna go from point to point and then you're gonna go across the same way. So you're gonna end up with a nice tight top. Here we are with everything pinned down. So you can see it's nice and tight. Oh, well, now you can see it. Okay, and then we are going to add the last piece. Now, you probably think you're supposed to add it like this. However, we are not going to add it like that. What we're going to do is we are going to, first of all, fold under approximately a quarter of an inch. And we're going to pin this and then we are going to attach it right here. That's where I want all of my starting points to be. Okay, so we're going to attach at the seam line and then we're going to go all the way around Okay, until you come back to here, and then I will show you. So this is what it looks like. So we started at the seam line, pinned it under a quarter of an inch, and then pinned it all the way around the top of the crown until we got around back to the seam. Now this, this piece, this end piece, overlaps the quarter of an inch underneath, and we're going to hand sew this down as well. So here it is after I have sewn it all down. And again, it's just a nice wide stitch, basting stitch. And then you're going to start folding it all down. So you have this nice seam here. And that's, for me, that's what makes a pillbox hat is that seam and then you'll see what I'm talking about as far as like if you wanted to keep this nice nice domed look it's gonna stay like that but if you wanted to add more padding to it you can that's a personal preference I just am not going to use several pieces of ba um, batting to be able to create that look when I know it's just gonna stay that way so now what you're going to need to do obviously is remove your pins and then this piece here i'm going to bring this together and i'm going to stitch stitch this down and then we're going to turn it over 
and stitch all of this down to the inside of the buckram here. And then we'll move on to the lining. So now the um, all of the fabric is secured. So you can see on the inside here, just a super basic basting stitch. And I still have this part pinned because I'm just gonna top stitch that down. And I just ran my pins along the outside, starting to get a little later in the day, so it's hard to kind of tell. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. I guess I took the rest of the pins out. Anyway, the inside here, that's all gonna get covered up when we put the lining in, and that's gonna be our last step. So I'll go ahead and cut my piece of lining out so that I can show you how I attach that. Okay, so I just flip the angle around so you can see it a little better. So it looks like, it just looks like a shower cap. <laughs> So what you're gonna do is you are going to, you're gonna start out with a flat circle and you're gonna put it under the sewing machine and you're gonna do just these long, this long basting stitch so that you can gather it up. And once it's gathered up, you're gonna flip it outside so that you're stitching so this part, the stitching is going to sit down inside of the hat. And then you are going to take one at a time. We're gonna just take, I'm gonna take the unbasted side first. And I'm going to pin this into the hat. Okay, so that's your first side. And then you're just going to work the lining into the hat. So we're just going to kind of take a little bit of this gathering out here. And we're just going to fit the lining in all the way around. So for this part, you, you just end up playing with it until it fits in the way that you want it to. Okay, so it's going to sit against here and you're just gonna work all the way around and I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll show you before I start stitching it down. All right, so I have it pinned in the way that I want it to be sitting and of course, as I go along and stitch it down, I'm going to continue to work this in. Now for this particular hat, it is not important, at least not in my opinion, for the lining to fit completely into the hat. And by that, I mean, I didn't need to cut a circle piece and also the piece to line the edge because this sits on the crown of your head. It doesn't actually go down onto your head. So this is just really for looks. So no one can see the inside of the hat if they were to look at it. So go ahead and stitch it down and show you what it looks like at the end. So now I have attached the lining to the inside of the hat and you can see that it is all finished. So the last thing that I will do with this is um, I'm going to attach a bow to the outside and I just put the bow right over top of the seam line because you can't necessarily see the seam, but I know it's there, so it's something that I wanna go ahead and cover up. So I'll attach the bow and then I will show you the end result. And here we go, a finished hat. And this, I just simply put onto the back of my head and I attach it with a couple of bobby pins. You do have that option, you can also put a hair comb into the, the hat. You can sew it into the front or wherever you wanna have that comb. You can also use hat pins. Those are basically straight pins for attaching a hat to your head or just use bobby pins like me. Whatever's easiest for you. And this is the finished look. Thanks for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed watching this and that you are inspired to go ahead and make your own matching hats for your outfits. Stay tuned for next week when I go back to some wardrobe basics.